What is up guys, it's Jay here, JMedia1, and today we have another cool product to review. We have the Wii Lock. This is a PCB D21 6-in-1 smart keypad. This is a deadbolt with Bluetooth compatibility and a smartphone app. This is a keyless entry door lock for your home or apartment. This lock also features Wi-Fi and is compatible with Alexa with an extra gateway. This product is just $149.90. And we're going to unbox this and show you how easy it is to set up. So here we go. So it just comes in a box just like this, guys. It's a nice blue box. And it's got these little labels on the side that show you how to open it, which is kind of cool. Um, two little tabs under here, not much on the box. So we're just going to get into that. Just got to get this plastic off of here. Plastic's gone and it says you open it from these two tabs on the side. So we just peel these up. There's these two little tabs here. So you pop these up and it kind of lets you peel it over, which is neat, something different. So we got another one here and we peel it over like that. Once we do that, we just got this red tape to get through here. So we're gonna slide through that. And then we can pop the top of the box off. Okay, so as we slide off the top of the box, we notice that there's an installation diagram, basically tells you how to use it. This thing is super easy to shut up, set up, and we're gonna show you guys just how to do that after we get through this unboxing here. So we got that, we got these two little stickers here. This is the lock itself. And if anyone's ever installed a lock, this looks a lot like a regular door lock with a deadbolt. So we do have the deadbolt right there. And, uh, but this one has got the keypad on top and there's a digital screen right here as well. And you can see this little piece of plastic right here kind of protecting that screen. So we got that screen and then we got a QR code underneath. And this part of it flips open. So we can pop that open. I don't have any nails, so I had to use a knife, but this part of it pops open and you can see that there's a access hole for a key right there, as well as a USB, micro USB slot so that we could charge this thing as well. And it says open three screws on there. It's compatible with the AAA batteries as well, which is nice. So it does have that protective cover on the front as well. So that's the lock itself. It also comes with two keys for it. And these are the laser edge keys, which are the really nice ones because they're cut on the inside of the key, not on the side of the keys. And then we also have, you can get it out of the foam here. These are packed super tight. These are gonna be our smart lock cards. And these are the little key cards that you can put on your keychain, which are really, really cool. And then when you get close to the lock, it will allow it to open. And we're gonna demonstrate that later as well. So just a little bit of foam here, some really good packing, making sure it's got, not gonna get damaged during the shipping, which is great. And then we have inside of here, we got some screws. So we have three different types of screws. We have a tool, like a little spudger tool that you would see if you were opening like an iPhone screen. Then we got the, the guard or the lock where the, the deadbolt goes into. This is the portion that's gonna go on your door. We got the little screwdriver uh, right here as well. So basically they give you everything you need to put this thing together as well, which is super cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this thing set up, but we're going to show you guys how we do it the entire way so that you guys can do it yourself. You can use this as a little instructional video to set it up for yourself as well. Okay hey guys, so we're here at the door and this is a garage door that we're gonna be installing this on. So this is a spring loaded door that doesn't really matter. What we have here is the this little screwdriver tool that they give you. Kind of has a little keychain hole on it too, which is cool. But basically we're gonna take off these screws here that hold the deadbolt in. We're gonna start by doing that and then we're gonna get it prepped and ready for the, the new installation. So you get these two long bolts here those are what's going to hold the whole thing together pretty much so we just pocket those you can see on this side that this thing will slide out at this point 
It's gonna rotate this a little bit, and this is gonna pop out, and you're gonna see this little arm on there. So we're gonna pop that out. And at that point, we can take out these screws right here that hold the striker block on there, and we're gonna get that off. We do have some power tools to make this faster. We decided just to use the entire kit that they gave us just to show you that it can be done just with this. Once, that off, once that's off, we can just take the plate and the entire jig and the whole thing will come out just like that. Okay, once that's out of the way, then we're just gonna pop this piece off. That's it. Everything is now just a, just a blank hole inside of there so we can install our new one. Now they give us these little pieces of, they're almost like a rubberized sticker and they're gonna protect the door itself. So we're gonna put these on there. You normally wanna clean this area pretty good before you put those on there. And then they're just 3M double-sided tape. You just make sure that the hole lines up with this hole and then you stick them on. I don't like to push them down real tight until they're on there for good because we wanna make sure that uh, they're in the right place. So you just do the same thing with this side. And that's it, you just kind of set them on there real nice and easy like that. Now, if you remember, we pulled the same thing out of there, except for this one's just a little more sophisticated with the head on it. You can see where these two go through here. So we're gonna have to slide this off because this is gonna have to be inserted first. Once this is put in, then we're gonna be able to slide this directly back in here, just like it was, just like that. So you gotta kinda just remember the orientation of it, how it's expected to slide in. It is the same on both sides, so it's really hard to screw up, but we're just gonna get it going. So first you wanna open the door, and you wanna get this lined up with the holes, and you wanna slide it right inside of there. Now if you notice, there's a little piece of white tape on here. That white tape is just to protect this um, chrome colored striker, so we can peel that off after we get this mounted. If you do have rounded bezels here, you might have to chisel that out a bit, but I think it'll be okay once we get it pulled down. It'll kind of pull these corners in, so we don't have to worry about that. They give you this packet of, of tools or of hardware, and inside the hardware, you see that there is wood screws inside of here, and those are gonna be the pointy tips, and then we have the metal screws. Those are gonna be the flat bolts like this. So we're going to get, want to use the wood screws in order to install this portion of it. So they give us four of them, we're gonna use those. So we just get the screw hole lined up back with where it was. Same thing at the bottom. We're gonna kinda of get it to right where we want it to be, which is just perfectly centered. We don't have to crank these down super hard right away. We just wanna get them snug so that it holds it. We can always come back and do that. I like to keep things loose because it allows us to make the adjustments that we need. And you got to remember there's already a pre-drilled hole here, so we don't have to worry about trying to dig into the wood. If this was a brand new door, you would have to worry about that, but in this case we don't. So just snug, then back it off a little bit so we have a little bit of wiggle room. And then there's this white piece of tape we could peel off, that's just to protect it during shipping. And it looks like that. Now you can see that this is centered right here at this point, and that's where all those are gonna slide back through. So we just have to make sure that we get that aligned correctly and it'll be fine. Okay, so you can see how it's set up. You just got these two slots and then you, these two bars and then this bar in the middle. And inside there, we kind of have this little cross and that cross is gonna slide into here like that. At that point, these bars are gonna line up with these holes and we'll be able to screw everything down. So this part of it, if you want it to go on the outside, has to go on the back side of the door. If you want it to be on the inside, it's gotta be on the inside of the door. We want this to be on the outside, so when you're coming into the door, you have to type in the passcode. This one's just gonna be a, a mechanical latch so that we can open and close it manually. So if you look down inside of here, I don't know how close you can see that. If you look down inside of here, you can see where we're gonna to try to line it up. So we're just gonna go right, the centerpiece right into that latch, and the two bars on the outside are gonna fit right through the holes. So we can kind of look on this side as well to see where they're lining up at. If you notice, they slid through there really well. So everything came through, that's how we know we have it right. And then if we switch back to the other side, you can see that it now sits flush up against the door. You do not wanna let this go. You wanna hold on to this at this point 
because otherwise there's nothing else holding it and it will fall down. As you can see that the latch is open, which means that the door isn't locked. So we're gonna want it to go sideways like that. We're just gonna slide this into the correct orientation there and then straight up until it fits. You see when we turn the latch, it wants to pull it out and in. That means we got it. We're gonna have to turn this straight up and down so that we can align those holes and get the screws inside of there, get everything kind of matched up perfectly. Right like that, I can see where they're at. So I just need the long bolts with the flat tips and we can get it going. Okay guys, you can see here, we got the long bolts here. This is what they look like. And we're just gonna slide them in here until they line up with that other piece. So ultimately the trick is just to get them perfectly straight. You're going to have to use the ones that came with it. They're the only ones that are gonna fit. So you gotta get them perfectly straight so that they slide in there. And that can be a little tricky. You might have to back them out because if they can start to go crooked like that right there, then it's not gonna line up and you're not gonna get it in there correctly. It's not the easiest to hit because you have you have very little room for error, so you're gonna have to make sure they go in perfectly straight. If you have trouble with this, it's because the bolt is not straight. They do reach. You just have to tighten this one down, then go back, tighten this one down, kind of walk them in back and forth. I'll try to crank one all the way down and all at one time. So you go a little bit snug, a little bit snug, all the way until you get them tight. And it's gonna be tight, it's hard to turn, then you're going to go another half a turn and you know you got it. So there's our half, there's our half. That should be good. And then this works. So that mechanically opens and closes, which is a good sign. You want to make sure that the door shuts. And it does. So that's a good sign. So everything looks good so far on this side. This is what it looks like on the other side. At this point, you can kind of smooth this out. Make this snicker, or sticker tighter or looser or whatever you want there. If you notice here, this is the knob on this side and you see how it's free spinning. That's because it's locked. So we have to get this going and activated so that everything will work and it will allow us to open the door. They do give us this little spudger tool. This will help you pop this open because there's just a little slot down there. That'll allow you to pop this open. And you can see where the mechanical key goes inside of there. There's also some screw holes here, which they did give us the screws for. Um, and then we also have the micro USB so we can charge it that way as well. Okay, so this, once this slides down, there is a cover right here. We just brought some of the other things with us like the keys and whatnot, the mechanical keys. But there is a cover right here and there's a little slot at the bottom. You pop that up with this spudger tool because unless you got super fingernails. And then you're gonna put four AAA batteries inside of here. Once you do that, you'll be able to close this and tighten this cover down. Luckily, we keep stocking batteries in this house because we have children. So if we look here, there's a cover that pops down and then you use your little blue spudger tool. Your blue spudger tool allows you to pop this cover up and that's where our batteries go. So we're going to stick the four AAA batteries inside of there. And if you look at the instruction manual, it says one up, one down, one down, one up. So this, should be the way that it goes in. Yep, I can hear it power on as soon as we close the lid. And the lid kind of snaps in, the keys light up. So we know we got the batteries in the right orientation now. So we're just going to pull this flap down. There's a little slot here for us to put in three screws. So we're gonna put these in there. Like I said, we're only using all their tools because we want you guys to see how easy this is and that you can do it yourself. And you don't need to buy any tools. So that one, and these don't have to go super tight, just snug. All they're basically doing is holding this housing down so it can't be opened and pop those batteries out of there. We got one more at the bottom. Okay, they're all in there and they're all snug now. We can see that the lights came on on top, like I said, so that helps us to know that we did install it correctly. There is a little LCD screen up here that kind of tells us what's going on as well. And we got these keys. So we got this key, it'll go inside of here, that'll mechanically lock it. So that's unlocked and we can see that the, it allows us to pull the bolt in and out. Once we lock it, then this kind of free wheels and we can't do anything with it. See that it just rotates. 
And so now that the bolt can't be pushed out. So that's how we know that it's locked. And it's kind of a cool design because of that. It lets it just freewheel, which I, I kind of like that idea. I think that's neat. And it only lets you take the key out once it's locked. But that's not the purpose of this because this is a smart lock. So we're going to show you the other ways that we can lock and unlock it. Okay, guys. So you download the, the app here. It's called WeLock, right like that. And you can scan the QR code with your camera. You can look for WeLock. Super easy. You're going to want to sign in. You're going to want to create an account. It's going to ask you for the lock ID to bind the lock. They happen to be on the box on this one, but just in case, uh, it is also behind this portion of it when you unbox it, when you take it out of the box. So you don't, just in case you guys mount this first and then decide, oh man, I need that lock code. So you have this little card here, which is cool because you could stick this on your keychain and this will unlock the door as well. So as you can see right now, the lock just free wheels. It doesn't do anything. And that means it's locked. Perfect. I like that it free wheels instead of it just binds it because if someone was trying to break in here, you're not going to do much with this. You're not going to do much with a free wheel. So that's very cool. So in order to use the key code here, what you do is you come over here and you hit this little, there's a little lock button on here. You hit the lock and that wakes it up and then you scan this. And when you scan that, it unlocks the door for you right away. So that's one option. The other option is there's a little lock here and once you get into this app, this is the light version, but they also have an advanced version where you can add, you can delete devices, you can authorize certain people, you can make a Bluetooth pin. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. You can set temporary passwords to let people into your house just temporarily. Instead, you know, maybe you have a cleaning lady or someone coming over uh, to do something inside of your house, you can let them in temporarily and then it won't work ever again. And that's a very cool feature. But uh, I'm gonna kind of slightly open this so you can see. But if you lock, if you hit the lock button here, it goes connecting, connecting success, and then you see it beep, and it's good to go. And now it lets me rotate the lock cylinder in and out. So now I can open the door. So if, I, if it's closed like this, it's gonna freewheel after a few seconds. So if you hit it, it locks it, it says connect success. Now you can lock your door. Then you can hit the unlock button, it'll let you unlock it, but when, once you do that, now it's freely. See, I can't get in there, this is freewheeling. It's totally locked. I have to hit the button again, allow it to connect. Now that the light's up, now I can unlock the door and go right in. So it's a very cool design. It's, it's very cool that it lets you have that time too, because if you hit the unlock button, you go outside, or you come inside and you want to go right back in, you can. It gives you a few seconds to do that. Right now it's locked. I can't get in there. I have to hit the unlock button or I have to wake it up by hitting the lock key and then scanning the code here. And you see how it did that? Now I can unlock and go in. And then it'll lock itself again. It'll free will after a few seconds. See right there, it beeps, tells you, okay, it's good to go. And there's all kinds of other functionality with this. You can... Um, Change this so that it doesn't beep when you press the buttons. You could also set it so it doesn't light up. Um, you kind of like the fact that it lights up. You can add passcodes, so you can type it in here. too. there's numbers on this. So you can type it in and then hit unlock. The fastest way is going to be either this way or it's going to be to just use the app on your phone. Either way, it's super, super cool. I like the ability to just authorize people temporarily as well. So we're gonna talk about some tech specs with you guys. Okay guys, very cool lock as you can see. This is definitely a very, very cool lock. The smart lock features multiple ways to unlock with advanced six and one keyless entry. It has an IC card. You also get the temporary e-key, passcode, plus smartphone, plus mechanical key and NFC. It's very easy to use for children and adults. The coolest part is you never have to worry about forgetting to bring a key with you. It has a customized user code. This Bluetooth keypad doorknob can set up to 10 different user codes for different users and occasions, such as if you want to let your cleaner or short time worker, if you want to let your pet sitter or Airbnb tenant access the door. Super fast and easy. It's also great for office meetings. The codes can be programmed or deleted. You can manage visitor records on the smartphone. This smart lock allows you to see the visitor records on your app on your smartphone to see which visitor at what time unlocked the door. This just enhances the security level of your home. 
When the door lock and Wi-Fi gateway, which needs to be purchased separately, are used together, the app can be used to remotely control the unlocking via Alexa if you like. There's no locksmith required. The smart lock is really easy to install. You guys can see that. You can replace the existing door lock all by yourself with just the screwdriver that comes in the kit. You guys seen how really easy it is. And there's no need for a costly locksmith and absolutely no hard wiring needed whatsoever. Just bring those four AAA batteries. They provide a 30 day money back guarantee and 12 months of warranty support. There's also 24 hour online customer service. If you have any questions, just contact them and they will provide you with the help to solve any problems that you may have. For $149, you can have a sense of security and you don't have to worry about losing a key, which is one of the major benefits of this lock. They're also offering 50% off right now if you click the link below and you want to use promo code WELOCK50. We will have all the details in the description for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the coolest tech product reviews. We will see you guys in the next video. Later guys.